Well, well, well. <laughs> My good people, I never get tired of this. Coming back at you like a sniper with a mark in his scope. It's your boy Art Zar, live in effect, back on scene, back on site, smashing and dashing, ready to hit the reaction. I have a review here for you guys today. This is a sweet one. Okay. We have on our uh, presence right now a very nice, uh, smaller size and what is termed the Rivington Belt Bag 7 from Coach. Okay. This item itself is a smidgen of the size of the Rivington belt bag in, it, in and of itself. The ones that I've previously reviewed that I actually have, this one is similar in nature, but just a little smaller. Maybe you don't have a need for a big bulky bag, maybe a little bigger than this one. Maybe all you need is something for your wallet and your keys. Maybe all you need is something for your cell phone and your wallet. Maybe all you need is something for... Uh, just something uh, like some debit cards or something that you want to slide in there. Maybe some uh, candy or whatever you like to carry around. I know I carry a lot of chapstick and things like that. So this item is exactly as what it should be. Now, I'll start off by saying this. I've always told everyone what this stuff is. This is a signature coated canvas. Very nice. Not cheap by far. Very, very nice bag. It is not leather. I don't know why people believe this is leather. This is not leather, but it is a good quote unquote leather substitute but because it has more durability uh there, there's a lot of durability in this stuff um like i said it's not leather it's going to eventually wear over, wear out over time or whatever happens it's not going to give you the long-term pronounced life like this part of the bag would be with your signature leather or your uh refined leather is what they like to call that this is a whole different material this is actually from the calf this is a canvas that's been dipped or coated in some type of PV or PV or PU or whatever they call that stuff. But it's pretty durable, it's pretty strong, nonetheless. Still a good, still good product, still good material. It's not gonna give you any trouble in the in the uh, grand scheme of things, at least initially. It may take years before you start seeing signs of wear and tear on it. You have to really be banging this bag up pretty bad. Now I'll say this to start with also. Remember, I've told everyone this is a this is a outlet purchase bag. This is not a retail bag. Retail bag, if you look at these C's on the uh, signature monogram print, these C's are dark. The background is light. That tells you it's a outlet bag. A retail bag will have the lighter color C's in the monogram, and the background is going to be dark. That is retail. That is how you know the difference. Okay? Then also, there's other little uh, small differences in that when you open the bag up. Like if you go to the uh, tab right here, you can see, if you get close enough, there is a F. Focus, man. Like Jay-Z used to say. Let's see here, so I can get a little closer for you guys to see that. Let me see. Pink. There we go. Yeah, the F right there. Factory. The retail bags do not have an F in the beginning of where that number begins. That serial number will just be numbers. It won't have a, a, a letter there of any kind. But that, like I said, that doesn't mean anything specifically, only that the bag is going to be uh, made with a different layer or different material or different little accents in the bag that gives it that much more, uh, uh, I guess, more of a unique feel, more of a exclusive feel. I would say it that way, but the product quality is still really good. It doesn't, I think they created these things of doing some research. They wanted to get rid of the uh, counterfeit market and this is how they did it. They decided to come up with an outlet uh, area and when they did that, they basically drove the counterfeiters out. So there was nothing from them to counterfeit because you can go get a authentic coach purchase, just not as, it, uh, not as uh, you know, quality, same level of quality, obviously, with a retail item. But that's the whole idea. People wanted to get a look-alike bag for way cheaper than it was really worth. So why not just charge you around the same price for a bag that is actually Coach? Just not the one you'll get on the shelf at the retail store. So that's the whole purpose, in my opinion, and my research of why they started coming out with the outlet stuff to this degree, because they just slashed the price down. And you're going to get a really good item no matter what. So let's look at it. Interior of this bag, it's about total about nine inches long uh you're going to be able but the but the zipper 
compartment on this bag is going to probably be about six and a half inches. So you don't have a full nine inches on the zipper compartment, but you got to have something that's definitely about this small or smaller, this, this length or smaller to get into this compartment. Or you have to force it in at an angle and then force it down in there. Cell phone might just fit. There's no tabs in here, so it's just one straight pocket. So you're going to get the full nine inch pocket if you can get it into this little window right here. Now the beauty is it's full calf skin on the back okay, that, and it's very supple. You can see the grain pattern in it when I bend it. See that? Very nice supple calf skin. Really nice. Uh, uh, D-ring clamps on the sides are reinforced with leather tabs, leather fold overs on both sides. You see that? Seat belt material, the nylon or whatever for seat belts. That doesn't change on any of their items, retail or outlet. And nice little hang tag, made of leather, of course. The pull tab, obviously, is a calf skin, just like the back of this bag. Metal tracks on the zipper. You open that up, and you can have another pocket right there. Now, this is obviously separate from the front side pocket. This is the divider, basically. So you do have two very two different pockets that are not connected. Okay, they're they're adjacent, but they're not connected. So your if you put your hand in this pocket, it doesn't come through on the other side. Only the imprint comes through. So you do have a divider in between these uh, pockets, which is great. This pocket is a little longer than the front side pocket, maybe in half an inch longer. You might get seven inches out of this bad boy, but you can get anything in these pockets. You can get your chapstick in there, your chewing gum in there, your phone, maybe a calculator if you're in school or something like that. I don't know what you're going to carry in this pocket. It really doesn't matter because at the end of the day, you're going to be rocking the bag for the way it looks, not for what's really in it. And sometimes if you rock it for what's in it, the way it looks is just a, it's just a, it's an extra. So you get both the best of both worlds out of just rocking the bag. You get to carry things without that bulky pocket syndrome. Okay, I call it BPS, bulky pocket syndrome. Guys, get away from that bulky pocket syndrome. If I, I've said this again, if I catch you with a bulky pocket, I'm gonna tie you up and take you straight to the coach store and, and, and force you to buy one of these because you have no business <laughs> in 2020 walking around with things sticking out of your pockets like a porcupine or some type of quills out of your pockets or something. It's kind of ridiculous. You'll damage your fine clothing, gentlemen, by carrying large items in the lining of your pockets. Trust me. And you, you also damage your, uh, the threads on your, uh, on, your, on your pants. Okay? And nobody, and, and no guy, I don't want to see in 2020 guys with a big fat wallet in their back pocket. That's kind of just... That's 1962 when, <laughs> when guys walk around with a three inch or four inch folded wallet in their back pocket and just, <laughs> I laugh because it's true. I don't want to see that. Okay, guys, if I see that, I'm going to recommend one of these or something to the like or something that's just as nice, uh, whether retail or outlet, depending upon your flavor. Again, this is a men's bag, but it can be unisex. It is not uh, gender specific. So any person can carry this bag. It doesn't matter what your gender is. It looks great on everyone. Okay, uh, guys, if you're going to carry this bag, you can make it pop. You can, you can style this up. You can style it down. I've done it both ways. So trust me, it does work. Ladies, I don't have to tell you guys anything about looking fly. Okay? So, that is pretty much it for this Rivington Belt Bag 7. The smaller brother of the Rivington Belt Bag in and of itself. Uh, you guys get out to the Coach Outlet. You can grab this one. You can also grab variants of this bag uh, in the retail store. It's going to have different little accents on it that make it a retail purchase, like the inside lining may have leathers lined in the inside and some things like that that will make it a uh, exclusivity uh, uh, manufactured item for retail only. So that's how you're going to know the difference. Oh, and I meant to mention, I like the buckle on the back. It's a gunmetal buckle. Yeah, it's all metal. Pretty strong. I like that. So there's no cheap items on this bag. I mean, if you pay 100 bucks for this or... Maybe a little less than this on sale. You might get it for 85 bucks or 75 bucks if they discontinue it or something like that. You're going to get a good item uh, one way or the other with this particular bag. You're not going to lose any sleep. You're definitely not going to lose any money by carrying this around. This, this item will be around in your closet or your wardrobe for years to come as long as you don't sling it around and scrape it on the street or something on concrete or something like that. You keep it off the ground. You'll have a really, really nice bag and you will never frown. Okay? Go around it for you guys. 
So that is pretty much the gist of this particular item, guys. Again, this is your boy Art Czar, live in effect back on the scene. And like I said, I want you to get on my team. I want to build an army of coach guys and girls and ladies and gentlemen out there that are willing to go to the to the uh, to the full extent of purchasing and using high quality items. Doesn't necessarily have to be coach. It can be any item out there as long as it looks good and feels good and makes you look great. It protrudes that confidence level out of you. Walk around with the power in your in your stomach, in your mindset, and you just take on the world. That's what it's all about. And these items do bring that out of you if you know how to wear it and how to style it. Okay. All right, guys, I want you to like, share, subscribe to the content. Also, leave me a comment down below if I missed anything or if you agree with the content, agree with the assessment of this particular item. I thank you guys so much for taking the time and watching this entire video. Thank you so much. It's been my pleasure. And I am out. Peace.